Google Assignments in Brightspace, a Brightspace tip brought to you by the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology. These instructions are being updated for the 2022-23 school year for two reasons. First, we've learned a lot in a year of having Brightspace in the district. Also, these will reflect the expectations posted in the new Fall 2022 Expectations documents shared with all teachers. For those of you new to AACPS or new to using Brightspace, let's first start by talking about what exactly is a Google Assignment. There are basically three things that you can accomplish with a Google Assignment. First, it's a way to distribute a Google file, such as a Docs, Slides, or Jamboard file. Second, it's important that you want every student to get their own copy of the file that you're distributing to them. And third, they need to be able to edit that copy so that they can complete their assignment and then submit it to you. Please note that Google Assignments are not for Google Forms. So now let's talk about how exactly to create a Google Assignment. And again, these instructions are being updated to reflect our new best practice procedures. So here I am in my Brightspace sandbox and just like creating any assignment I'm going to begin by going to content. Once on content I'm going to select the unit and now I'm going to go to create new and I'm going to choose assignment to create a Brightspace assignment. Once I've added my title, a point value if I want it to be graded, and a due date, I'm ready to add my instructions here and my instructions are simply going to say click the link below. Now I'm ready to add that link and the link will be to my Google assignment. So I'm going to choose this icon over here to insert a quick link. I'm going to scroll down in this window to third party and I'm going to choose Google assignments. Once I click to attach or connect my account here, it's going to open my Google assignment ready for me to create that additional information. Once I've put in the point value, make sure that it matches what you put in the Brightspace assignment. You can choose to add the due date or not. You're going to repeat the assignment title there and then add your instructions. For example, mine say that my students are to open the attachment below to complete their All About Me assignment. You do have an option here in Google Assignments to add a rubric. You even have the option to turn on originality reports. Both of these will be familiar to anyone who has used Google Classroom previously. And then we come down to the option to actually attach the files that we want to share with students. If I already have my file created, I'm simply going to choose the attach button here on the left but I also have the option to create the file that I want to distribute to the students right here from inside of the Google assignment feature by choosing new doc new sheet or new slides I already have my file so I'm going to choose attach instead and this is going to open the access to my Google Drive I personally recommend if you have the attachment open prior to creating the Google assignment it shows up right here at the top in your recent area so that's a great way to ensure that you don't have to go swimming through a lot of folders to find it so here's the all about me document that I want to give to my students and I'm going to choose add if I wanted to give them multiple attachments as a part of this assignment, I could certainly click on the attach button again, but that is the only file that I have for this one. And you'll notice that it is set to every student will get their own copy. It will be editable to them. They will be able to add their content and then complete that and turn it in. So now I'm going to click create. It's going to close the extra windows that it opened during the creation process. And now you'll see I have a Google assignment inside of my Brightspace assignment. The benefit to this is that this will go to the student's work to do widget and it will go to the Brightspace calendar with that due date of June 20th that I applied up here in Brightspace. So now that I've created everything in my assignment, I'm ready to consider my submission and completion settings. So I'm going to move over here to the right hand side and I'm going to click this toggle arrow right here in the center that says submission and completion. By default, all Brightspace assignments require the students to submit a file and they're not actually going to do that because they're, they're only going to turn back in the file that I've already given to them. So I need to change this to allow them to submit the file. 
So here's where I have a couple of options. I can change it to a text submission, which would require that the students type something into the text box in the Brightspace assignment. For example, maybe I just ask them to type in the word done to indicate to me that they have finished the assignment. Then we have the option here that says external tool submission, which is specifically designed for things like this uh, Google assignment inside of Brightspace here and we have in-person and on paper submission which basically implies that I'm going to give them the assignment digitally but they're not going to give me anything back through Brightspace rather I'm going to assess them and give them feedback in person or on a piece of paper that they give to me. I'm going to choose that external tool submission option here because again that is designed for this exact type of uh, file or external tool this Google assignment that I'm giving to them here and then I have the option for how it gets marked as completed. I personally like this manually by the learner. It lets the student tell me when they are finished with the assignment. The other options are automatically on evaluation, meaning once I grade it, it is marked as finished, or automatically on the due date. That one can be a little bit tricky because it looks like everyone's finished as soon as that due date of June 20th passes, even if the students haven't actually submitted the assignment. So again, I prefer manually by learners, so I'm going to choose that one. And now I'm ready to make this visible to my students and choose Save and Close. Now you'll see we have our assignment created. It is a Google assignment inside of a Brightspace assignment, and that reflects the updated directions.